Lumina Neo has been my favorite photo editing program for many years. It is powerful, fun to use, and constantly updated by Skyloom. It offers a vast choice of tools for traditional color grading and several creative functionalities. I have just received a beta version of the upcoming fall update to be released in November. In this video I will show you the new tools that will be added, as well as the details of the extra convenient Black Friday promotion available at the moment. The pre-release marketing campaign announced the tool name Volume, but the name has now been changed to the more apt Light Depth. This is not simply a new functionality, but a revolutionary way to control the depth of the light in image containing elements on different layers. Previous version contained a tool named Relight to adjust the area on the background and foreground of an image. The idea is interesting, but something was missing. This functionality has been massively improved with the depth map capabilities of Light Depth a true game changer. Let's move to Paris to show you how it works. In this image of Place de la Concorde we have four layers. The front of the fountain, the center of the fountain with the statues, the buildings with columns behind, and the sky behind the building, which I prefer to have blacked out as it was a very foggy night with a few raindrops on the lens as we can see if I add light to the background. The image looks already quite nice as it is, but it is an excellent one to show you how light depth works to add light to specific elements based on their distance from the camera. When we open the tool, we notice that the software has created a mask with a shape similar to the central part of the fountain, which has been detected as the main element of the image. Like in a luminosity mask, the white part reveals and the black one conceals. So if I add light using the amount slider, only that specific part of the image is affected. Notice how the light remains constant in the buildings behind, even though they are on the same horizontal plane. This indicates that this is not a simple linear mask but rather works by mapping the distance of the elements compared to the camera. The mask can be modified by holding and dragging the white icon vertically. Only the elements on the same layer are affected by the extra light. We can also modify the height of the mask using the two cursors above and below the white icon. Notice how we draw attention to the central part of the fountain by dragging the amount slider to the right. Further down we have other sliders. Softness expands the edge of the mask. The effect is very subtle and it is generally better to increase its value. Warmth shifts the color scheme towards blue or yellow. In the panel Advanced Settings we can independently adjust luminosity and the white balance for the elements in the foreground and background. For more complex images other tools can be used before or after light depth. This image is quite complex as it was taken at sunset against the sun, partially covered by clouds. We can start by opening the lens tool and using the accent and sky enhance sliders to adjust the overall luminosity. With the structure tool we can very gently increase the amount and fine tune the boost slider. When we open light depth we notice that the monastery has been recognized as the focal point of the image and the map has been created accordingly. After adjusting the different sliders, we can move to the Super Contrast tool to fine tune the contrast in the mean tone and the shadows. 
We can then check the result before and after the different tools have been applied. A restoration is a tool to be used only with a specific kind of image. It does an astonishing job in adjusting old photos, repairing scratches, flares and other issues in only a few seconds. If you have an archive of old images to bring back to life, this is the tool for you. Let's start with this portrait with horrible scratches. With the traditional photo editor, it would take hours to repair it and achieving a satisfying result would be challenging. All we need to do is drag the image from the catalog to the restoration window on the right. Three options are proposed, full, color or scratches. Let's start with full, which take care of the scratches and also colorize the image. After hitting Restore, the AI-based algorithm analyzed the image and in less than a minute saved the processed image in a folder named Photo Restoration. The result is astonishing. I would simply fine-tune the colors using Color Harmony to obtain an excellent rendition in less than a couple of minutes. This photo has a strong flare in the lower part, which is very difficult to eliminate. This time, let's try the Scratches option. We'd adjust the image without colorizing it. Once again, the result is excellent. The third option is Color, which colorizes the image without repairing the artifacts. I would not use it very often, maybe in a photo like this without evident artifacts, but badly overexposed. The result is acceptable considering the state of the original. The November update will also introduce the Luminar Ecosystem, a multi-device editing platform. Photos taken and edited on a mobile phone or tablet will automatically be saved to the cloud. It will then be possible to access the edited images on a desktop allowing for an interrupted workflow. The first phase of the ecosystem will only work from mobile devices to computer, but not the other way around. This makes sense as the mobile version does not include all the functionalities of the desktop one. However, according to Skyloom, in following version it will be possible to work both ways. The images can be shared with clients or friends or published on social media using the tool Gallery. Skylum is currently offering an extremely convenient Black Friday offer. There are two separate pricing structures, a cross-device one for users who rely on a smartphone to shoot and edit photos, and another for desktop users only. There are different purchasing options for new users, existing ones, and legacy users. I have included a link in the video description with all the updated details. Through this link, you can get a 10% discount using the code VicVideoPick. It is an affiliate link, so in case of purchase, I get a small commission which helps the channel. Click on this link to watch my video about the traditional functionalities of Luminar Neo. And don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.